How's it going? David Cranley here with another FL Studio tutorial. Today I wanted to talk about using the mixer. This is going to be very extensive and I'm going to try and make it as short as possible so we're going to get started right now. Okay, first thing to note about the mixer are all of its features. We have up to 99 inserts that we can put channels from our step sequencer into. The first way you can do it is the most simple. Um, just click on it on one of your channels, go to your channel settings and you'll see effects. You can drag it up or down and you'll notice on the mixer the channels highlighting. And you'll also see the number on this area right here. Select the channel you want. We'll go ahead and go with insert one for our kick. And that's how you insert things one at a time. There's another way to insert uh, channels. Um, once you have a uh, channel selected, right click on insert and say link selected channels to this track and it will link the kick drum to track one. Okay? So another little tip to do, uh, once if you have multiple channels in your step sequencer as I do, select all of them by right clicking on these little spaces here. Just right click all the ones you want. Then right click on a insert down on your mixer, go to link selected channels, and then click starting from this track. And this will set each one of these into its own mixer track. Check it out, What see what happens when we hit play. All right, you can see each of these are in their own mixer track. When you heard the little beat playing, you may have noticed there was reverb on the snare sound. Uh, that is because we have reverb in one of eight of our effects banks. Fruity Loops gives you the option to apply eight different effects for every single channel. So insert one can have a reverb right here on, channel, on, on effects banks one and the snare can have another reverb that's a little bit different or it can have compression or delay or whatever you'd like. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to apply an effect. Simply click the arrow next to an effects bank, hover over select, and then select the effect that you want. We'll go ahead and select a delay for now, okay? And the plugin should pop up if it is working properly. We'll hit play. and you can hear the, eff the effect, there we go. All right, so that's how you add an effect. Next we have our EQ, which you can adjust by clicking on a fader, fader and dragging it up and down. You can also adjust where the fader affects as far as the frequency goes. You can see it in the graph here. You can adjust it with the knob or you can click and drag certain areas of this grid which represents all the different frequencies and volume of those frequencies. Um, you can also narrow down the amount of frequencies one fader affects. So if we bring the middle one all the way up and go to our middle fader, you can see it affects less frequencies. Whereas if we bring it down, it affects more. All right, so that's how that works. All right, and this is great for if, you're, if your master mix has too many mids or too many highs or too many lows, you can go in it into each individual instrument and kind of narrow down which one is using up too much of what frequency. Okay, the next and last feature I want to show you about the mixer is the sends. Now the sends are good for two things. One is applying one effect to all or some of the, the channels on the mixer. Okay, what we want to do is we want to apply an effect to our two hi-hats right here. All we need to do to accomplish this is select uh, the first hi-hat. Under send one, you'll see a knob after selecting the first hi-hat. Just bring it up and then we'll do the same thing for our second hi-hat. We'll just bring this up here. Okay. The next thing you want to do is make sure that the, the send from each of these channels, the two that we have in our send, is down under our master. The reason is, is because when we play it, it's going to be twice as loud. 
hear that hi-hat, it's twice as loud. Okay, so we'll go ahead and bring it down. There we go. Now if we go to our send, our send 1 is brought up in the master mix, so everything that was here at one point is now being sent to here, which is being sent back to the mixer, so the volume should be as it was. There we go. Now we can apply reverb to both hi-hat sounds. Pretty cool. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get rid of the effect. Alright. Now, next thing that you can do with the sends is you can um, use these, you can use these sends to send different monitor mixes to different outputs. This is great for when you're working with multiple musicians in a studio or live setting. The way to do that is to kind of do the opposite with the volumes. You want to take the send and bring the volume all the way down in the master and then bring your other channels back up in the master, okay? And then once you do that, select your send again, choose an output, and you're ready to go. That's all you need to do. All right, the last thing I want to show you is how to mute and solo tracks. Okay, the way to do this is let's go ahead and play our, our little loop. To mute a track, simply left click one of these lights. We've muted our kick. Left click it again to unmute it. Now you can right click to solo it. Right click again and all the other tracks will start playing. Alright, I hope I wasn't moving too fast for you. If I was, then just rewind the video and go over it again. <laughs> All right, my name is David Crandall. I hope this has helped you learn a little bit more about FL Studio and is helping you with your next FL Studio project. My name is David Crandall. If you're enjoying these tutorials, please subscribe to my channel as I'll have many more tutorials to come. If you have an idea for a tutorial, please let me know and I will be happy to make that tutorial for you. All right. Again, my name is David Crennell. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, you have just witnessed one of my FL Studio tutorials. Ha 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 ha. All right.